I think I think anybody who sexually assaults a young child, like like I like I was a victim at 14, then I was a victim probably because uh, this happened to me again a couple of years ago. I was a, I was a, a sexual assault victim again a couple of years ago. So I've been sexual assault. I've been sexually assaulted three times. I think it needs to stop, and, and I think people need to come come to awareness about 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 sexual about sexual assault, they need to come, come to awareness about this. Last week, Massachusetts State Auditor Suzanne Bump discovered the Sex Offender Registry Board lost track of hundreds of offenders in their system. Cambridge residents expressed mixed feelings when we asked them, how do you feel about the state losing track of this many offenders? A seemingly benign neighbor, according to the law, I thought previously had to be identified to the community. Isn't that the case? And if that's no longer the case, they are immersed within the community and might potentially reoffend in a very costly manner. So uh, it worries me a lot. I do worry about the tracking of sex offenders for life um, and, um, and they're being kept in a registry only because I think it really goes against an ethic of um, recovery that we sort of depend on. And, um, uh, and it really betrays uh, the extent to which we believe in the ability for people to repay their uh, their debt to society um, and afterwards live uh, um, a fulfilling life. I feel like it's ridiculous. Like I don't feel safe knowing that information. I have younger siblings. Like we live in the community. It's it's not a good feeling knowing that the state has lost people that are potentially threatening to our community. I mean, it, it's it's. I guess it's disturbing in the abstract because, I, I mean, I don't know that I've ever checked a list like that, um, but it, I mean, if I were worried and I did want to check such a list, I would want it to be reliable, obviously, and um, it's, it's almost disturbing that what's disturbing about it for me is that we depend on these things. We depend on these institutionalized um, lists and whatnot. Um, and we, we almost assume that they're sort of infallible, even though we, you know, obviously they're not. So it, it's, it's sort of the, we need to think about it more.